The search for a gunman who killed a Baltimore police officer is entering its ninth day. 18-year police veteran Sean Souter was gunned down in a vacant lot. He was shot the day before he was expected to testify in a high-profile corruption case involving other Baltimore police officers. Chris Van Cleve is in Washington. Chris, good morning. Good morning. Police continue to believe Detective Souter was the victim of a random attack while investigating a murder in a neighborhood prone to violence. But after nine days in a citywide manhunt, they are yet to name a suspect, and the lack of developments has heightened interest in Souter's grand jury testimony. Baltimore police have asked the FBI to enhance this audio from Detective Sean Souter's final radio call. It's unintelligible right now. We don't know exactly what he said, but he was clearly in distress. On Wednesday, police confirmed signs of a struggle were found on Souter's clothing, and the veteran officer was shot in the head at close range with his own weapon. Another revelation came when investigators confirmed Souter was shot the day before he was supposed to testify in a federal racketeering case involving eight members of an elite Baltimore police unit called the Gun Trace Task Force. They are now facing charges of stealing money, property, and narcotics from civilians over a two-year period. Well, I understand the, the, the wild possibilities that, that go through people's minds when we all want answers. I, I just am, am determined to keep following the evidence. There's nothing that we won't consider. The main witness to Souter's murder is his partner. He told police Souter approached a man acting suspicious. Investigators say video shows his partner took cover after hearing gunfire. We do not know where these shots came from. We have officers in bad locations. The shooting spawned a citywide manhunt that put a Baltimore neighborhood on lockdown. At the scene of the shooting, some residents are offering their prayers. He deserved that prayer. The family deserved that prayer. Our city of Baltimore deserved the prayer. The reward being offered for information about the detective's murder now stands at over $315,000. A funeral for the father of five is scheduled for next Wednesday. Vlad? All right, Chris, thank you very much.